A lot of Mavericks news and rumors to get to on today's show. I am Harrison Graham without the beard. Just kidding. I'm not Harrison Graham. He's on vacation with his lovely wife. So I'll be filling in over the next couple of weeks as he has deserved very good vacation time. So let's touch on all of the latest Mavericks news and rumors. We start off with Ben Simmons. By the way, subscribe if you miss Harrison Graham and you don't like me because some of you might hate on me for not being Harrison. He's done a great job growing this channel, as has producer Coop, who's a diehard Mavs fan as well. So Bleacher Report suggested a Ben Simmons to the Dallas Mavericks trade. And this comes on the heels of a lot of potential movement taking place in the NBA. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, maybe DeAndre Ayton after Rudy Gobert had gotten traded to the Minnesota Timberwolves. We know that KD asked for a trade. So that could really start the Brooklyn Nets deciding to really just start over and tear that franchise down to the ground and trade away a player like Ben Simmons. I'll also throw this wrinkle out there. If the Nets wanted to trade KD to Miami, we know that that's one of his preferred destinations, they would not be able to get Bam Adebayo back in the deal because in the NBA there is a rule where you can't have two players who signed a max contract while on their rookie deals. Ben Simmons did, so too did Bam Adebayo. So if the Nets wanted to trade KD to Miami and get a really good package back, They'd have to probably trade away Ben Simmons as well in order to bring in Bam Adebayo, who I would imagine would be one of the headliners of that deal. As for the Simmons deal with the Dallas Mavericks, here it is. Mavericks would receive Simmons, who can play point guard, especially in transition. Half court, he's a little bit of a liability. What I would like to see the Mavericks do, play Ben Simmons in that Draymond Green role. I think that's ideal playing alongside Luka Doncic. The Nets would receive Spencer Dinwiddie, Maxi Kleba, and first round picks in 2025 as well as 2027. There would be protections on those deals. Now, as far as Ben Simmons goes, we're talking about a multi-time All-Star. We're talking about one of the best defensive players in the NBA who has been named an All-NBA defender. He's a really special guy with positional versatility and elite passing ability, especially considering his size at 6'10". Prior to the no-show against the Atlanta Hawks, where he lost his confidence, he was certainly mentally rattled in between the ears, couldn't hit free throws, and just didn't shoot the basketball, and won in no parts of actually being on the floor at the end of the game for a playoff series or in a playoff game, this guy was a really unique talent. And if he were to play that Draymond Green type of role, I think that Ben Simmons would be able to be a nice piece alongside Luka Doncic. If Ben Simmons is also willing to be the roller with Luca, throw down some alley oops and then off the roll actions, hit some of the three point artists on this team, then I think the Mavericks would have a nice little piece offensively. Now, of course, you have to factor in that Ben Simmons is on one of those max deals. The Mavs would have, with Simmons, one of the best PNR actions in the game. So, for those reasons, it's somewhat enticing. But should the Mavs take on Ben Simmons and him being the head case that he is? That's where some of the concerns come to the forefront and him just never showing the want to, to improve as an offensive player. You look at a guy like Luka Doncic, every year that he's been in the league, he's gotten progressively better and better and better. You look back at Ben Simmons in the Las Vegas Summer League as a rookie, he was hitting turnaround Jays. He was hitting baseline jumpers, knocking down some elbow jump shots, hitting three-pointers and taking them. Ever since then, his offensive game has literally gotten worse. And how would Luka feel looking at a guy with all this talent, really tantalizing ability, and he'd be like, you know what? I put in the necessary work lacking elite athleticism to add all of these array of moves to my toolbox and Ben Simmons you've been content with being a very good player but not a great player yeah I don't want to play alongside a guy like that on top of the fact that he is a little mentally fickle so I want to hear from you in the comment section right now MFFLs yeah I know what's good would you trade for Ben Simmons give me a T for trade or a P for pass get those votes in and be the general manager in Nico Harrison right now also make sure you subscribe to the channel while you're down there it's youtube.com slash Mavs TV or even easier just hit that red subscribe button if you're watching on Dallas Mavericks today our offseason coverage has been absolutely awesome from the NBA draft to free agency now in the NBA Summer League we're going to keep you in the know with everything going down with this basketball team whether it's me or Harrison or somebody else here at Chat Sports so do the right thing hit that sub button let's get to 20,000 subs as soon as possible to peak social media 
NBA trade rumors now. Does Reggie Bullock want out of Dallas after having a pretty impressive back half of the season after he got off to a da disastrous start after signing that deal in free agency? And is he going to get traded to the Philadelphia 76ers? So as I alluded to just moments ago, this is peak social media NBA trade rumors because Bullock on his IG story reshared what somebody said with these two pictures right here that were filtering through that Bullock told this guy that he's going to get traded to the Sixers, he's going to be a member of Philadelphia, and he's going to get traded. Now, I don't think it would be smart for the Mavericks to trade away a guy who is a pretty solid 3 and D player, who after that aforementioned slow start, finished the year really strong and had a couple of really good playoff performances. Some no-shows for sure, but the averages always play out for a guy with a lot of three-point volume. As for some of the pieces that could be included in a Bullock trade, could I interest you in Matisse Thibel? All-NBA defender two times out of the last three years going to Dallas, maybe even Tobias Harris. In order for that to happen, it'd probably have to be Bullock combined with any number of these players. Dwight Powell, Davis Bertans, Tim Hardaway Jr. I'll also throw in Maxi Kleba there as well as a potential backup for Joel Embiid. But these are the trade pieces that could be involved in a Reggie Bullock deal. As for what Bullock had to say on social media because everybody's like, yo, Bullock's getting dealt to Philadelphia, right? I can't post my homies. This is wild. Basically is what he said. Bad wording on the tweet by Bullock. But yeah, that's basically what it is from his standpoint. He's like, yo, I'm kicking it with the homies. I'm kicking it with the fellas. And they posted me on their IG story. And you know, it's really awkward. If you're with your really good friends, they tag you on an IG story and you don't repost it. Sometimes I tag my boys and if they don't repost it, I'm like, why aren't you reposting it, man? You can't be scared here on these IG streets. What's good? For Bullock, he was just trying to show some love to his guys. If you want to keep Bullock in Dallas, then type Bull in the comment section right now. We're going to go back and see how many people type Bull to gauge where the audience is at. Do that right now in the comment section. To another target for the Mavericks in free agency, Eric Bledsoe. Now, right now, he's on the Portland Trailblazers, but according to Sham Sharania, it looks as though they are going to let him go and they are going to waive him. As part of a deal at the NBA trade deadline, Bledsoe was dealt to Portland really as a salary matcher in that deal that involved Norm Powell as well as Robert Covington. And Bledsoe never actually played for the Blazers, and right now, they don't really have a need for him. And should the Mavericks have a need for him? Should they have a want for Eric Bledsoe, who I kind of describe as a poor man's Russell Westbrook for a moment there back several years ago. Looked as though he was going to be a solid player and then kind of flatlined because the game passed him by and he never really evolved. As for what he did last year with the Clippers, nearly 10 points per game, four assists, playing alongside Paul George when he was healthy. 42% from the field, and then 31% from three. He has had multiple opportunities to prove that he can get paid, that he can be a solid player, whether it be with the Milwaukee Bucks, Los Angeles Clippers. Those are two of the more recent teams, and he's really never gotten to that point where – you know, it looked as though he was heading in that really good range of being one of the league's best point guards, and then he kind of just flatlined, like I said. Now, if you don't want to go after a guy like Bledsoe, who maybe as an eighth man coming in off the bench, if he's able to be in a more of a minimized role that could allow him to be a better and more efficient player, you can take a look at some of these other guards right here. I mean, Colin Sexton, Dennis Schroeder, a reunion with Dennis Smith Jr., DJ Augustine, and then Campazzo, who I actually thought was pretty good for the Denver Nuggets, a scrappy international point guard, could be somewhat intriguing. He played with Luca at Real Madrid, right? So Campazzo is honestly maybe one of my favorite options on this list outside of Colin Sexton. I have said time and time again, all in on Sexton. You sign a guy like that to $20 million, and that's his deal for uh, a dude is going to give you about 20, 24 points per game and a pretty solid fit next to Luka. I'd be putting my eggs in that basket trying to make that deal happen. If not, maybe you settle 
on those second and third, fourth, and fifth level point guards with some of the other players on this list. I know Mass fans are high on Dennis Smith Jr., but last year with Portland, he looked so clearly washed. Name a guard the Mavs should acquire. It can be any of the guys who we talked about on today's show. If you want to throw Ben Simmons in that category as a guard, because he can run a little point, although I think he's better hovering around in that dunker spot, you can list Ben Simmons or another one of those names or somebody who we haven't mentioned. Either way, just let us know in the comment section, and sometimes that helps us fuel future shows here on Mavericks Today.